Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. With approximations now, here we'll see how can we use derivative to find approximate values. So what we'll see here, usage of derivative to find approximate values. Let's see how this can be done. So if y is equal to fx is my function, then I can say that d y by dx, if you see y is equal to fx is my function, then my d y by dx is nothing but f dash x. Or I can say d y is nothing but f dash x dx. Correct? This is what I can say. Now, if my delta x and delta y are very small then I can write dy as delta y and dx as delta x what I have done I wrote y is equal to fx I differentiated that I got dy by dx is equal to f dash x then I got dy is nothing but f dash into dx now since dy and dx are very small, I can write dy as delta y and dx as delta x, right? Instead of dy, I am writing delta y and dx, I am writing delta x. So if I write that way, I get the equation as delta y is nothing but f dash x delta x. And this is the mantra to find approximate values. So what we do generally is, I'll, I'll take some examples. I find y and then I add delta y. This is the value of y is nothing but y plus delta y. Finding y is simple and finding delta y I do using this way. y delta y is nothing but f dash x delta x. Correct? How to get this? Again dy by dx is nothing but f dash x or dy is nothing but f dash x into dx. Now since dy and dx are very small, we assume then dy I'm writing as nothing but delta y is nothing but instead of delta x, dx I'm writing delta x and thus I'm able to find delta y and the actual value of y is y plus delta y. So let's take some examples to understand this but the reason why I took this slide was I wanted to show you how we find delta y. Let's take one example. We have defined the approximate values of 25. 0.3 to the power 1 by 2 up to 3 place. So finding this is difficult. But we know that root see root 25.3 is difficult for me. But root 25 is easy for me. Correct? So if I say 25.3 is equal to 25 plus 0.3. Correct? So in this case, in this case, if you see what I am doing is, I am making this guy as x and this guy as delta x. Correct? So in this case, I am supposed to find root of this. So my function will be something like this, y is equal to root of x. Why? Because this is nothing but root. So this is the kind of function I have where I am supposed to find 25.3 and that I am saying nothing but 25 plus 0.3. Why? Because I am saying x is nothing but x plus delta x. So this is the kind of function I have. Now if I am saying x plus delta x, I have to find delta y also because if I am saying x is equal to 25, y is nothing but root 25 and that is nothing but 5. But the actual value of y will be y plus delta y. Correct? That is 5 plus some value. And what is the value of delta y? Delta y is nothing but f dash x into delta x. Delta x is something I know. That is 0.3. f dash x is something which I can find. And with this, I will be able to find delta y. So let's do this. If my fx is equal to root x my f dash x will be nothing but 
वन बाई टू रूट एक्स करेक्ट सो माई डेल्टा बाय हेयर इज नथिंग बट एफ डेस एक्स दैट इज वन बाई टू इंटू रूट एक्स इंटू डेल्टा एक्स सो लेट्स पुट द वैल्यू एक्स इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी फाइव करेक्ट दिस गाई इज एक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड रूट डेल्टा एक्स इज पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सो दिस इज नथिंग बट पॉइंट थ्री बाय टू इंटू फाइव दैट इज पॉइंट जीरो सो एक्चुअल वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इज नथिंग बट वाई प्लस डेल्टा वाई दिस इज नथिंग बट वाई हेयर इज यू कैन से आई कैन से वाई आई कैन से वाई नॉट आई से हेयर इज नथिंग बट वाई प्लस डेल्टा वाई एंड वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वाई इज रूट एक्स दैट इज रूट ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस डेल्टा वाई दैट इज पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट फाइव पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एंड दैट इज माई आंसर सो इफ यू सी वट आई हैव I was able to find the value of this guy very easily. What I did was I broke this guy into x plus delta x. Correct. So my x component was twenty five because root of twenty five is very easy for me to find, and delta x was point three. So y will also become y plus delta y. Correct. Finding y is very easy. Y is equal to root of x. That is five. But delta y finding is little difficult. So for finding delta y, I use this formula. Delta y is nothing but f dash x into delta x. Please note here is the place where we use derivative because f dash x is nothing but derivative of f x. So delta y is nothing but f dash x into delta x. Delta x value I knew. F dash x I found it, and I got the value of delta y to be point zero three. So the actual value of y came out to be y plus delta y. That is. Y is five twenty five plus point zero three. That is five point zero three. That's how we kind of solve approximate questions. Let's take some more examples to clear the concept. But generally, in most of the questions, we'll do the same thing. We'll break the whole this part into x plus delta x kind of form, right? And then we'll we know if x is twenty five, y finding y is simple. But again, you have to find. Because delta y, because and since I have the delta x part here, I have to find delta y also. Once I have delta y, the final answer will be y plus delta y. Correct? Because y plus delta y is equal to root of x plus delta x. So this is what I have to find. Correct? See the funda here is, I had this number. I wrote this guy as x plus delta x. So my this value will not be y is equal to root x is correct, but but if I want to find the root of x plus delta x, it has to be y plus delta y. Correct. So finding delta y is difficult. See finding y is simple because the moment you remove point three from here because x is twenty five. Y is very simple, but delta y was difficult. So finding delta y, what I did, delta y is nothing but f dash x into delta x. Delta x I knew, f dash x I knew. I get delta y. Once I have delta y, I add this guy, and I have this guy. I add this guy. You add these two by this is nothing but what you are looking for. Correct. So I can instead of y dot, I can say that this is nothing but root of x plus delta x, and this is equal to y plus delta y. Let's take a few more examples to solve our concepts. So we have this uh, function, and we need to find the value of f of two point zero one. Correct. And this is my four x square plus five x plus two. So if you see, f of two point zero one, I can say is nothing but f of x plus delta x, where x is equal to two, and Delta x is equal to point zero one. So I have x. I have delta x. Now I know that this guy f of x plus delta x is nothing but y plus delta y. Correct. 
y is nothing but f of x plus delta y correct f of x where x is equal to 2 we know that this is nothing but f of 2 plus delta y finding f of 2 is very simple finding delta y is little tricky here so let's find that because i have to find this guy right this guy is nothing but f of 2 plus delta y so now we'll find f of 2 and we'll also find delta y so f of 2 is nothing but 4 into x square becomes 2 square plus 5x that is 5 into 2 plus 2 that is 4 into 4 16 plus 5 into 2 10 plus 2 correct that is 28 so my this part is there now i have to find delta y delta y is nothing but f dash x into delta x what is the value of f dash x this guy 4x square becomes 4 into 2x 5x become 5 this is my f dash x into delta x delta x is how much let's say delta x only let's put the value now 8x x is what 2 plus 5 whole thing into delta x is 0 0.01 0 0.01 this is nothing but 16 plus 5 21 into 0 0.01 and that is nothing but 0 0.2 so i have delta y and i have f of 2 also We'll put the value here. F of 2 is nothing but 28. This guy. And delta y is nothing but 0.21. So my total value is 28 point. And that is my answer. Very simple. What I have done? I wanted to find. I just rewrote this guy as f of x plus delta x. Where x is 2. The main thing is you to break this whole thing into x plus delta x component. Here I did the same thing. 2.01. I said is x plus delta x where x is equal to 2 and delta x is equal to point zero one. Now this guy f of x plus delta x is nothing but y plus delta y. Because if y is equal to fx, y plus delta y will be equal to f of x plus delta x. Correct? So since I was to find f of x plus delta x because this guy is equal to 2.01, x plus delta x is equal to 2.01. This is what I have to find the value. So f of x plus delta x is nothing but y plus delta y. y is nothing but fx. fx is nothing but f of 2. And delta y is delta y. So now I have to find f of 2 and f of delta y. f of 2 finding very simple. You just put the value of 2 in this equation. You get f of 2 that is 28. Delta y is nothing but f dash x delta x. The formula which we have learned. The same formula I have applied here. I got delta y. Delta y came out to be 0.21. I added these two to get f of x plus delta x. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.